Hi, my name is Rachel and I'm the engineering manager for the scalability team at GitLab. I'd like to take you through how I use ethics and issues to manage the team's work. What you can see on the screen at the moment is our top level epic, which is scaling GitLab on gitlab.com. We use this epic to track all of the work that we are looking at and all of the work that we are responsible for. And this is recorded in epics that are attached as, ch as children to the top level epic. This ethics and issues list is really useful to be able to list everything out, but it becomes difficult when trying to keep a record of what is in progress and what's coming up next. So we've been maintaining this list manually inside of the description of the epic itself, as you can see in the table here, the work in progress and the work that's coming up next. But as the list of work grows, it becomes challenging to try and keep this up to date especially when the information about the epics are maintained on the epics themselves. We're duplicating the effort by trying to maintain this here as well. So what I've been doing is I've been figuring out an automated way to be able to generate this description so that the status information is available here as well. So I'd like to show you how I'm doing that. So for the work in progress group, if you open up the epic that's attached here, you will see that a label has been applied, which is in progress. I use that in progress label to query the API to get a list of all of the epics that are in progress to generate this. You'll see the same thing is available on this epic here. This is also in progress. Now another thing that you'll notice is on this uh, description there is also a status update as part of the description with a date that shows when this sentence was last updated. The same thing can be seen here on our background job processing improvements epic. There's a status here. And if we go back to the top level epic, I'm also using the API to get that information out so that it can be displayed nicely in this table. I'm using a similar technique in the next section here. If I open up this epic, you'll see that I'm using another workflow label, which is proposal to show that this is the work that will come up next. Everything that is not in, um, in progress or in proposal um, may also have the label of triaged and triaged is used to collect everything that is at the moment considered other, which is work that will be coming up in future, but is not currently scheduled. Um, finally, I use a script to then edit the description directly as well. I'm not copy pasting the description out of, um, out of the terminal and pasting it in. I'm just using the API to do that. Um, the last piece here, this open work in the GitLab all group is the only piece that's not automatically um, scraped out of the API. Um, but it is automatically updated in the description uh, as part of the rest of the script. Um, so that's just been a really quick run through of how I'm using labels and epics to organize our work and how I'm uh, dog fooding the API to be able to produce this uh, automatically. Um, doing that about once a week now. Uh, so thank you very much for watching.